Hi guys, welcome to The Medical Method. Today I'm going to be responding to a couple of comments I got on my poetry video um, and giving another tutorial for you guys, so stay tuned. Alright, so... Um, Jess Farag made a comment, thank you very much. Um, he said, great video, but could you sort of make a video for us um, explaining how to improve on section three without a science background? All right. So in my last video, which was about just like strategies to improve, I was saying that um, it's sort of like, you don't really need theory as much as sort of big companies and like tutors necessarily um, necessitate because I guess it's sort of like biased because they make money out of teaching you all the theory over many hours and that makes them money. So um, whilst that might be a cynical view, in all honesty, the test is mostly about reasoning. Um, but if you don't have a science background, you do need to do the theory because whilst it's reasoning, um, you still need to be familiar with concepts. So. For example, if they give you a brand new reaction in chemistry and you need to work out what a product would be when give, you're given a reactant, right? Or like an organic reaction. And it's something that no science student has ever learnt, but you, you're meant to sort of extrapolate from your knowledge how to find that product, okay? So if you're from an arts background or commerce, economics, whatever background, and you haven't done any chemistry or had, don't have any familiar, familiarity with the, the concepts, it'll just be too foreign for you to even like reason through it. So I think the best place to start, um, sorry, for section three, the best place to start would be Khan Academy. I think he's just, this very well explained, uh, it's quite a slow place, it's pace, I think often people say they need to actually speed it up. Um, and he'll, he can quite literally go from like, you know, basic periodic table all the way to like quite complex organic chemistry and it will take you there maybe a couple of weeks if you're diligent and just go through all the chemistry stuff. Um, and I think chemistry especially is the one to go through. For biology, uh, there are a few key concepts, probably like you want to go through glycolysis, um, which is like uh, how, how sugar molecules get broken down in the body to produce energy. Um, you could also go through maybe photosynthesis. That's how plants create glucose to go through glycolysis. Um, so it's to do with their pigment and they absorb light. Um, what else would you go through? Maybe a bit about respiration. Um, a good one to watch would just like any basic human physiology would be good. Um, just like go on YouTube. And I, I think Khan Academy has a lot of stuff on basic biochemistry, like glycolysis and all that kind of stuff. And that'll sort of get you where you need to be. Um, and then physics, as I said previously, it's just, it's really rote learning. You, I mean, it's a year 12 level, so um, whilst for school leaders that might seem scary and for people who haven't done it, it seems scary, it's actually not as bad as it appears for physics. So going through Khan Academy will actually get you sort of beyond the level you need. Um, but you really need to do like electricity, optics, fluid mechanics, motion, um, torques, uh, force laws, maybe Newton's laws, that's basically all I can think of, maybe equilibrium and vectors as well. Um, so basically like most of year 12 physics to get you where you need to be. And, and again, it, it is usually pretty cut and dry. It's sort of just like, have, have you done it? And it's usually minimal as well. It's only maybe like five questions out of the whole section three. So if you're sort of pushed for time, I think there's much more value in learning a bit of biology and a bit of chemistry than there is for the physics. I mean. It's bad to sacrifice marks, but if you're at the point, you really need to just like do what's going to get you marks. And I think chemistry and biology will. So if, if it was me right now and I was didn't have a science background and I had to prepare for the coming GAMSAT in March, um, or any GAMSAT for that matter, I would devote half the time, so like the next four weeks, to learning theory. You really need to get into the theory, learn mostly chemistry. I've probably put 60% of my eggs into the chemistry basket. 40% would be into bio. And then if I had time, I'd do physics last. And the last four weeks, questions. You've just got to do lots and lots of questions. It's the only way you're going to improve. But I emphasize that don't like, don't feel like if you haven't seen, it's like if you see a chemistry question, you go, no, nah, can't do it. I'm going to guess. Look at the chemistry question and like just really focus on trying to like use tricks. It's like, like for example, um, I saw a question on um, physics in one of my papers and it was like, 
you know, if you've got like a pipe this big and you make a pipe that big without like everything else is kept constant, what will happen to the flow rate? And it was a really, really hard, really like difficult formula. But then in the answers, three, three of the answers were lower, lower than the original speed and one answer was bigger. So the answer is obviously bigger. If you open the tap wider, more water flows out. So it's just stupid stuff like that that will actually get you the answer. You need to like use all your reasoning skills. It's not just using the formula and getting the answer. Um, I know it's hard to teach, but it's the thing that I try to like really emphasize, like try to reason, use your brain, like, just like, you know, like if you were like, had to do it to save your life, to get a good score in section three, that's the way you should approach the paper. Even if you have no background, it shouldn't matter. You should really push as much as you can to like just find answers from the descriptions they give, find answers from the arrangement of the multiple choice, um, and go with your instincts because often it's in the right direction. Um, I think that's about it. I can't really think of anything else. I mean, unfortunately, I understand there's a lot of people who do it without a science background, but um, the GAMSAT in itself is like heavily based in sort of that sort of field, especially in section three. But I guess it's better to have no science background in a way because your section one and section two should be quite strong. Um, and that's often the hardest to improve. So if you just put the time in and work hard to improve your science, I think you'll be in a good place. Um, that's about it. Um, thank you for watching this video and thank you for commenting and liking on my videos. Uh, it makes me feel really happy and worth it for like all the editing and filming time. So yeah, um, I'm probably starting uni in another week or so. So I think as usual, the videos will probably slow down. I'm gonna be super busy, um, but I guess, comment or email me stuff you really want to see made and I'll sort of maybe drop down the quality a bit and just maybe do like a webcam vlog thing but I think it'll still help you guys out so um, like my videos subscribe to my channel uh, I'm gonna be doing some vlogs throughout the year to let you know what second year medical school is like and thanks for watching cheers